Jerry Terry, CEO of Decathlon Tiny Homes here at the Tiny House Warehouse. And we had our, uh, our new Athena model uh, spray foam insulated today. So I decided to jump on the roof and I uh, roof it. Um, and I figured while I'm at it, uh, maybe I can explain to you a little bit about why we choose the roofing that we did and a little bit about how this system goes together. So it started when we were looking for roofing. We really wanted something that looked more like a house, a uh, residential home. So there's nothing wrong with metal. Metal's great. It's the industry standard. It's what you see almost everywhere. Uh, and I said, you know, maybe there's a better option that looks a little more like a house would, would look. So uh, we came upon uh, what we could, these are called Ondu Villa shingles, okay? And it's, um, we figured we'd have to take some concessions, right? Because you just kind of assume, okay, metal's got to have the best wind rate. It's got to have the best warranty, all these things. It's not so. So as I started to go through the, the fact sheet and everything on the Ondu Villa shingles, uh, it has the highest wind rating of all the products, 150 miles an hour. Uh, it is the lightest product out there. And it has a lifetime warranty. So it, uh, a lot of things really start to come together there. Uh, also, you can, it, the shingles, you can kind of see them pieces over there on the ground. One really, really nice thing too, if something happens, if a tree branch falls, hits your roof, uh, you can actually unscrew one single shingle and put it back on. So also very, very easy to maintain uh, and we, we just really love how it looks uh, in terms of looking more like a house. So uh, a little bit about the system. First, the, the weight was huge. I had to get something light because I mean, anyone who's ever drove a, a U-Haul box truck or a tall van, you know, the top heavy things, are, they don't seem very safe. So it could not have a lot of weight up there. And I'll tell you what, this stuff is just, I mean, it, it just weighs, you know, I mean, it just weighs nothing, you know? Whee! So it weighs very, very little. But once you put it on, as you can see from the application, with the screws and all of the, uh, on all of the bumps there, uh, all the way up, you literally can't even rip it off the house. Like, you have to take the screws out. You cannot tear this material. I, I've tried. <laughs> it, it didn't work. So that is a uh, really, really good material there. So this is uh, just kind of the system and how it goes together here. Uh, you know, this is the base shingle. Uh, at the very bottom shingle, uh, you're gonna have a, uh, at the very, very first piece, you'll have this piece here, which we generally use glue to put that in there before we install the shingle. That just keeps the ventilation going. It keeps like critters from getting up into these, uh, into these uh, uh, creases here. So that's the first row of shingles. The field is pretty straightforward. They just kind of overlap each other. Um, and then as you can see, we, as we get to the top there, you have, uh, this is what it will look like on the very top of the house. It's called a slim cap. Uh, and then this piece here is the end piece called the closure cap. So, and then this is uh, called the apron piece. Uh, that's what, I have installed that up there, just not with the cap yet. So it really has a nice finish. Uh, really kind of comes together in a really clean, tight way when it's all put together and screwed down. So you can see here, if the, you know, the wind's blowing rain up under here, right, what, where's it gonna go? It's gonna go right into that wall. So there's really just no way for even a heavy, heavy blowing rain to get in. And maybe my favorite is the, uh, I even love the name of this, it's called the, the Verge piece, Verge. So that's that piece you see on the end there. It's not fully screwed on yet, but the, uh, these, this is a very, it's a very substantial look. I really like how, you know, the, the rake, we call these rake ends, how the gable and the rake ends have a really substantial finish out. So uh, the trim pieces with the material like this is really important and I really like how they, how they came together. So, uh, oh, lastly, yeah, just, if there's not any, any other reasons to use this material, uh, it has won several awards for being green. So, it is a composite between asphalt and, oh, let me remember this, a recycled cellulose, cellulose fiber. Recycled cellulose fiber. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but it has won awards for being green. So it's light, it's green, category four hurricane wind rating. So uh, it, it, that is how we ended up with it. But it came from the very first idea of let's find something that looks more like a residential home. So that was the first idea, and then we just ran into what uh, seems like just a great product to use on a tiny house. Thank you very much.